YouTube, what's going on? It's your guy, Taz of the Reviewer. I'm back again with another review. Today I'm reviewing two, actually I'm comparing two fragrances. One from the house of Suspero. This is Basso. All right, zoom in on that one, 10 ml. Really, really, really love this, man. This is top 10 worthy, all right? Now, the, the other one I'm comparing it to is Roja Parfums. This is Oslo, As Oslo Blue, all right? so. I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna get on Frank Randica and read off. These are very, very similar DNAs, bro. Uh, both of them to me are like nine, to nine to nine point five to ten out of tens. But I give Basso the slight edge, right? So I'm gonna just read off the uh, the main notes. I'm not gonna do the chords. They're very similar. Uh, with Basso from Suspero, you get grapefruit in the top mid. You get labium. Mayflower and Carnation, base you get vetiver, oak moss, sandalwood, nutmeg, cedar, guyac wood, black pepper, pink pepper. All right, we're gonna move over to the Isolo. I want to say it's Isolo Blue. Isolo Blue, you get in the top, you get bergamot, lime, lemon, thyme, and lavender. So you get a little bit more in, uh, in Isolo Blue by Roja. You get uh, more citrus uh, versus that one grapefruit with um, with uh, Sospero. Basso in the mid, just it's a little bit different in the mid as well. In the mid, you get orange blossom, black currant, jasmine, chapaca, coconut lily, and apple. So you get more white florals than you do in the uh, Sospero Basso. And then the, the base is pretty much the same. They both have cedar, they both have oak balls, they both have labium, they both have um, pink pepper. So they're very similar when it comes to their base, but in the their top and in the uh, middle, they have a lot of um, differences. All right, so let's get Basso from Suspero on the left hand. I gotta hurry up because my camera's getting ready to die. Left hands for Basso, by Suspero. Man, I love that DNA, man. This is, to me, it's, 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 a, top, it's a top five DNA. Roger Parfums, I solo blue, right hand. Let's get a better spray. Right hand. All right, man. Basso, man, listen, man. So Sparrow Basso has crept up to my, I wanna say my top five favorite um, fragrance, bro. I'm serious, something gotta get bumped down. Something has gotten bumped down to number six. That has crept up to my top five. All right, let's allow these to dry. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Basso first from Sparrow. Oh man, very masculine here. Fresh, spicy, <clears throat> nice grapefruit, citrus. Oh, the citrus is not too synthetic. It's not too, it's not overbearing. It, it mixes well with the pink pepper and the black pepper in here. Give it that fresh, spicy. It got some very, it's very, it has a very woody touch to this. It gives it like a sophisticated uh, feel. This is very, very nice, man. Goodness, I'm, you know what? One of these days I'm gonna do a comparison with that when I get the full bottle with that in Creative Ventures. All right, let's go to a uh, Solo Blue by Roger Parfums. Hmm, okay, I'm feeling different now. This is definitely a lot more smoother because you have lavender in here. A lot more smoother, a lot more, a lot more unisex-like. Does it, I don't want to say feminine, but I want to say small, softer and smoother. It's not as like a, like a Sospero, Basso, or Basso. This is very nice too, man. This one is one that the, the woman can wear. This is one, okay. I would say the Basso is for the husband. I would say Isolo Blue is for the wife. It's, this has also an aquatic feel too. I don't know if it's a citrus in here. Give it like a, a fresh water, uh, a fresh water uh, scent. All these citrus in here are combining together, but are not overbearing as well. Like I said, very woody. You have an earthy touch to it as well. Let me go back to uh, basso or basso. Yeah, I prefer this one all day long though. For me. For me, right? But this one is not bad. A solo, a solo blue is not bad at all, man. Just because it doesn't trump 
Beso doesn't mean it's not a great fragrance. It's still a top tier fragrance. But for me and what I like to put on my skin and how I like to move about throughout my day, Beso is my speed. This is this is me in a bottle. This is me in a bottle, y'all. So I'm gonna give the slight edge to Suspero Beso, but I still think Roja Parfums did a great job with a solo blue. But we wanna have to take the uh, winner spot. They can only be number one. And yeah, they did very good with their lavender, but I gotta go with the big dog. dog. I gotta go with the big bark. So thank y'all for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, leave comments, and I'll see y'all next video. Peace.